guys. G'day and welcome back. Welcome back to Dust and Grace ASMR, but only kind of ASMR today. Not professional ish ASMR. I woke up quite recently. It's 6.50 at the moment and I've been up for probably since 6 um, and I just wanted to show you guys my current uh, quiet time routine and how I'm going through the Bible at the moment. I was going through a phase of feeling very unmotivated, not interested in reading God's Word and really not even interested in going to church and I just couldn't, couldn't shake that feeling. It was just a chore or something I was doing. So I think about a week ago that changed and I've been trying to sit in God's Word and meditate on God's Word but it just wasn't working and then for some reason <laughs> a week ago um, God turned it around so I don't know what the difference was um, or what the change was but I've been reading the book of Ephesians and I was just reading it over and over again, I still am. <laughs> I've read it um, at least twice now and the first time I read through I was just reading I wasn't taking notes or anything because um, the notes were really just slowing me down and they weren't beneficial I wasn't interested <laughs> so I was just reading through Ephesians I, I was really trying to soak it in, just to sit in God's word and really understand it and try to remember it and let it touch my heart. So there were a few chapters, I think chapter four or five, and it took me days to read that one chapter because I kept stopping when I got to something that I wanted to just spend time soaking in. And so, um, I, I just kept doing that. And now I'm reading through it a second time. I was really inspired by one of the preachers at church. He has, he does absolutely brilliant Bible studies. He really, really breaks it down. And then you go and you actually learn about Bible. It's incredible. I've never been to a church, <laughs> sadly enough, where, you know, it's kind of necessary to take your Bible with you because you're, you know, breaking down the Bible in such detail. Um, so I'm very excited to be going to a church where, probably not all the time, but at least some of the time, where, you know, truly, deeply studying God's Word, and I think that that's brilliant, and what should happen in a church, but... I'm going to show you what I'm currently doing. This is at least my second time reading through the book of Ephesians and I'm really trying to study it and break it down and make chapter summaries. Um, so I'll show you the Bible that I'm using and then I'll go through my notes as well. Okay, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so the Bible I've been using is getting a bit beaten up and stained and torn in places. It's the Women's Study Bible ESV. It is by Crossway. 
I really like it. It is very pretty. Um, but the main selling point for me is that it is more of a a commentary and Bible all in one. And there were a lot of contributors um, to writing, to putting this book together. It's got beautiful, beautiful artwork in it. And so I don't read um, these Bible study studies really. Um, only if it's on a topic that I really don't understand. Um, I don't know, it's just not my thing to read other people's Bible studies. <laughs> but I do sometimes, I'll go down, and I'll just read through the, the notes on that chapter, on the chapter that I've read. I will always read the chapter first and then go down to the notes so that I understand what it is that I'm, that I'm reading about and um, I read over this information, you know, the date, what they think the themes are, outlines, you know, that kind of thing, and the maps. So that's what I'm using, and I'll read through one chapter a day at the moment because I'm going through the second time. Okay. So, this is my sort of introductory page. So, of course, book name, the author, the themes. Um, so, for the themes here and in the actual chapter summaries, I didn't copy what was in their book um, or in that Bible. I wrote my own themes because I've already read the book once and I wanted to sort of summarize it myself. So uh, these are just sort of what I think were the main point in each chapter and then I did copy the outline from the study bible just in case it's necessary at any point and then I moved on to chapter one so again with the topics what's covered in that chapter um, I didn't follow the um, that bible I just wrote what I think is the main topic of that chapter for this one there was a verse that really really jumped out at me uh, so I wrote that out and highlighted the key areas and really spent some time meditating on that and um, then down here kind of just wrote just summaries of the main points and um, you know what I find to be the main points of the chapter, just writing them in my own words, some verse references as well, and then prayers down the bottom of people I want to pray for. And chapter two topics again, what I think the topics are after reading the chapter. Um, this is also probably important to mention. I don't write this before I read the chapter. I read the whole chapter in one sitting and then I go in with what my notes are. Um, and then for this one, there wasn't really one verse um, that stood out to me at first. So I started off by summarizing the main points um, and then the verse reference. And then summarizing the next lot of main points and the verse reference and then again summarizing why is my camera doing that summarizing and a verse reference and then down here 
I did um, write out the first because I found one. Um, I summarized that as well, though I left a little dot dot there instead of writing out the whole thing. And yeah, because that seemed like anything that says remember <laughs> at the start, I'm like, okay, must remember. <laughs> And then chapter three is what I've been reading today. So normally I'll, I'll highlight the, you know, the topic bit so it stands out. And then in the verse, I'll highlight whatever it is that jumps out at me in here, like key words or key messages. And then um, again, summarizing the main points of the chapter in my own words and my own uh, understanding and yeah that's how I've been doing it so after I read the chapter I'll go through write this out I might spend some time meditating on the verse that I've chosen and um, but I will summarize the entire chapter not just focus on one verse then I'll write down who I want to pray for that day and I'll spend some time just sitting sitting in prayer and of course I'll have a coffee with me and yeah so that's been what I'm up to in terms of studying God's word and I strongly strongly encourage you to meditate on God's word don't just read once and move on we need to try and remember everything because all of the Bible is relevant and it doesn't matter if you've already read it once before we need to keep reading it again and again and again and allow it to sink into our hearts so Thank you for joining me. I hope that you found that interesting and I look forward to seeing you again later. Goodbye.